we were talking of the steps which are required for the rural development. In that we had seen the development of the infrastructure, the human capital formation and the third is the poverty elevation program. That is to say the government of India has to launch certain programs and schemes to see that the people who are poverty stricken in the rural areas come out of it. They have to be given certain boosters to see that they lead a normal life. The next step would be land reforms. Most of the time the people who are tilling the land are not the real land owners in the rural areas. The real land owners stay in luxury in the cities and it is the poor landless laborers who till the land for them. So the reforms have to be made that those who till the land, the land belongs to them and certain such steps which improve upon the landless farmers in India is required. So these are the steps required for the rural development in India. Next we talk of the rural credit. For the improvement development of anything we need to have credit money and the rural credit in India is required for each and everything as I said earlier. Whenever there is a small function or a big function, whenever there is a death in the family or they have to buy machines or they have to buy a land, there is no such proper saving with the farmers and thus they tend to take credit. The rural credit in India can be categorized into three categories and which is the short term, the medium term and the long term credit. The short term credit is actually taken by the farmers in India for buying seeds, fertilizers, manures, that is small things. And this kind of credit is generally taken for 6 to 12 months. The next credit is called as the medium credit in India. The medium credit in the rural areas is taken for digging wells for buying some machineries and tractors, threshers and so on. This kind of credit is taken for 1 to 5 years. Then you have the long term credit in rural India. The long term credit are generally taken for either buying additional land or bringing about some big improvements in the existing land. And this kind of loan is taken generally for 5 to 20 years. So you see there is a short term credit, medium term credit and the long term credit taken by the rural India for meeting their various needs.